Hi everyone, and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies, where mad scientists are rampant, big goddamn airships exist, and war, well, war is non-negotiable. Oh, and this thing exists. Hi? Holy shit! So, what am I planning to do in this lovely world of big things in the sky? Well, rockets of course. Now you may be asking, why rockets? Well, I'm about to show you why, so sit back and relax, and I'm about to tell you a story of why rockets are overkill. And this is the war you've been waiting for. Oh, it's gonna drop on us. Holy oh. oh my god. So to start, we of course have to create a nation, and also coat of arms, which gives me buffs and all that jazz. So I'm gonna choose the mullet, which is gonna be very handy for this playthrough by buffing our explosions and maximizing our damage. There are some other options like dragon riders and cultists, but that's for a later time. Okay, so next I named my nation Katusha, because one, it's pretty funny, and two, because it has something to do with, you know, the whole premise and all. And now I could finally play the game. So here we are in the map. Nope, not British. So here we are in the map of, well, wherever we are. It seems we've started on the island. Okay, so now it's time to design a ship, which you know this game is all about. Montage. <laughs> so here it is, the pride of the Katushin Navy. With my magnificent engineering skills, this ship was the safest. A crew quarters right next to the ammo store for, you know, short wait times. Oh, and many, many bombs. I also named it Skyfire because why not? So, after building a bunch of Skyfires, I decided to test my inventions on some wildlife, or more specifically, wasps. Well, we're losing a lot of men here. Come on, hurry up. Oh, no, they won. We won. Nice. And it was a success. So, after casually destroying nature, my attention turned to the country in the north which was looking quite tasty. They had no allies, very little ships, and were isolated. So, as any good conqueror would do, I declared war on them. And after a couple close skirmishes that basically ended with me just floating above them and bombing them to death, I could finally take a crack at their capital. However, with some new weapons of war, the fireball. Anyway, we dispatched their defenders pretty handily and took the city with minimal casualties for us, not for them. So, with the new conquest of Glug done, a new foe would appear at my borders. A mad scientist. Now, mad scientists aren't as horrible as that last monster over there. But battle itself went smoothly as I dropped my ship on the unexpected weapon, which was actually an accident because my ship exploded and, well, gravity did the rest. But I managed to defeat the scientist with only acceptable casualties. And what did I get in return? Well, I got Manny and Sky Squids. So that's gonna be fun. I'll be using those later. So now that we've united the island and now and everything, I can finally go into some splendid isolation. Huh? What's that music? Oh, son. So a random nation in the north had declared war on me. Fun. Well, it was time to rock their ship. Oh wait, there's still a fleet that's gonna arrive in nine months. Okay. So, to avoid a dying old age, I decided to meet them halfway as a peaceful emissary. I'm kidding, I destroyed them with extreme prejudice. Oh my god! Oh, and I also tested out some sky squids. Yeah, not pleasant for those guys. I also killed some pirates, but that's not too terribly important. They shared a, um, familiar fate. So, ignoring the other nation, my next target was Lonia to establish a foothold in the other continent. Oh, well, that was easy. Wait a minute, what's that? You bitch. So this new enemy was kind of a problem, as their basic ship was this. While they had no guns, it could board my ships, which is not fun having your ships be bombarding your own ships. Yeah, those guys are screwed, man. Luckily, I just acquired the perfect weapon, man-eating squid. Yeah, poor guys. 
However, what they lacked in guns, they made up in speed, and oh boy were those things fast, and also managed to take like half my cities before I could even fight them, so that was not fun. And so I began the retaking of my conquered territories. Let's get us going. What? So, after raising Glug again for the second time, I finally repulsed the invasion. So let's explain you know, the whole political situation and all. I feel like that might be important to note. Most of the other continent is controlled by Pramic and Unguardian Alliance, meaning that those two were my main nemesis. This is. Another fact was that we were in constant warfare. Quite literally, I was fighting non-stop with them throughout the campaign. Oh, and I also fought some dragons as well. With the advent of such large foes, I needed some bigger Daka. A ship that could explode its foes in a blazing fire. Engineer boys were back at it again with some new big rockets. I could finally do some serious damage to my increasingly armored enemies. These bad babies might be able to turn the tide of the war. Yet these rockets were premium. They didn't come cheap. So it's been a slow process of switching out my main army for them. But for now, I'm focused on conquering. We took back Colonia, which had risen up a while back with not too much effort. Then we faced these slow boys in the north as I could deal with the ships pretty easily. And I took most of it, but then I forgot the last remaining part which was fun, I guess. With the North mainly pacified, I turned my attention to the two giant nations in the South. They globbed up most of the small nations, which, while made the diplomacy screen easier to read, they only made them more powerful. I decided to strike at the capital of Ungarden, which, um, didn't go so well. So, after that tactical retreat from their capital, I captured the major city of Pilk. And then I lost it, and then I got it back. It was a wild time. The next couple of hours was a series of bloody exchanges between us. I captured a town, they took it back, they take one, I take it back. We were stuck in a stalemate, essentially. Oh, and I also allied that nation way back when I took most of its country. Funny. Finally, I managed to break the nation in the north, which happened quite quickly, but my luck would finally run out, as a new vehicle had entered the war. so heavily armed that not even my big rockets could hurt it. It just took two of them just to barely kill one of those things. And worse, a heat wave that immediately killed my income. I was bleeding money. Fast. Things were looking good as 10 minutes before. Luckily, my main army was still pushing south, but my momentum was slowing down. We were losing a lot of ships, of which could not be replaced. So I had low money. Things weren't good, until finally I started generating some income. The heat wave had ended, and I was making bank. My forces gathered for the final push. Was this finally the end? After a whole decade of fighting, towns taken and pillaged again and again, rockets exploding constantly, cannons firing at every moment, war had raged on for a long time. The Contusion Navy was nearly there. The Unguardian had fallen with the conquest of Katwick. The Igats were not allies and the Premic were retreating to the last bastion of hope, the city of Premic. On the 7th of Nasui, the year 428, in the early morning, the Caducian navy had arrived on the island of Premic. Once thought impossible, and now had it in the grasp. The Caducian navy prepared for a fight that could finally end the war. In a quick blow, the defenders were blown apart with rockets. The defenses were now just burning pieces of metal and gunpowder. The battle quickly had been won. Oh, the Emperor! Many called out. There it was. Victory. Impossible the year before, and now stood staring at them. The war was over. So yeah, that was definitely a different video. I had a whole script and everything, and it was seven pages of words. Also, that was the first time I've ever done that, so that was quite interesting and tiring at the same time. Although, I probably won't be doing this again for some time, but it is a very fun game, I would recommend it if you do like building ships, and just like the steampunk theme in general. Also, I'm going to leave this timeline of the whole map and everything, because, I don't know, it's a pretty cool uh, detail at the end of the game, of which you find out of. Anyway, goodbye, and thanks for watching.